So this is a Acer palmatum viridis. It's a dissectum. It's uh, it grows out and downward, as you can see in the pot. Now it's been in this container for approximately four years, so it should just pop right out. And what I'm going to do is place it into a slightly larger container, not much bigger. It'll have a little more height. Um, I'm just going to take this tree out right now and set it aside so it should just pop right out here. There we go, let it come right out. And there we go, have a quick look. You can see the roots very fibrous, all the nice white root growth which is what you want to see so it's looking really good. We're not going to touch this at all, just set it aside. <laughs> So this pot, which is extremely heavy, I'll just set it down here and I'll put my new pot on top. Now this one is quite a bit taller so what I've done, I've first of all I've drilled a couple of one inch holes in the bottom even though it had a hole in the center that's not enough. Just take a generic one inch wood bit and drill a couple of holes. This particular pot is made from uh, recycled tires, which is great, puts them to good use. It's really durable, it can withstand extreme cold as far as cracking, and it does insulate the tree as well. It's a nice old quarter inch thick uh, structure all the way around, very solid and rigid. So I've taken my, uh, my soil mix, which is composted bark mulch and a regular less composted bark mulch and then about 20% of sand which adds a little bit of weight and uh, it's good uh, for retaining moisture and adding minerals and nutrients etc to the tree naturally. So like I said I've got about three inches of gravel and then I've got about an inch of the soil already in the pot going to grab this tree, I'm going to pick it up, set it inside the pot. Now you can see I've added a little bit too much soil. I'm going to take it out and remove some of the soil. Okay, I've taken out some soil. Let's try and put that tree back in and see what it looks like. There we go, that's better. I'll just take some of this top soil right off the top as it's just sitting loose. Now, I've got about, oh, two to three centimeters or just over an inch of play all the way around the pot. I'm not going to touch the roots at all on the tree. They're doing just fine. They'll push out on their own. Just going to take soil now, throw, throw a little bit on top, and then I'm just going to gently pack it around, give the tree a little shake. That'll work the soil in. Shake a little more. Push the soil down a little. Add a little bit more. So in all honesty, the pot size is really just slightly bigger. It's got a little bit more depth and uh, that's all it needs and you're going to be good for another three or four years. There's no need to go to a big jumbo pot and have the roots just pushing out unnecessarily. This way it keeps the tree nice and compact easy on the back of course which is uh, my biggest concern and there we go the tree is all ready to go now I had already added a tablespoon of slow release fertilizer to this tree about three weeks ago before I realized that it actually did need repotting so I'll just uh, clear things away and set it down for a visual and there we go now you'll notice 
the pre-existing pot it sits oh maybe two and a half inches lower let's say uh, eight centimeters it is about um, an inch narrower in the circumference diameter across the top and uh, really that's all you need when you're sizing up your tree especially if it's already been in the container and it's a pre-existing container grown specimen they adapt uh, wonderfully to containers and honestly they can spend their entire lives in pots we have many that are 40 to 45 years old in our garden it's very low maintenance of course the most important thing is uh, just add water I always say take away the science add water and you'll have a good looking tree thanks for watching